You guys are 2-0 in the Patriot League. Can you, you recap the Holy Cross game and what it means for the team going forward at Georgetown this week? Well, as we talked a lot Friday night before the game, uh, you know, every game now is a championship game at this time of the season. Uh, that was the goal our seniors set forth, um, you know, to win a Patriot League championship. And, uh, you know, any given Saturday, anything can happen. Uh, so, we, you know, we want to be prepared. We talked about not turning the ball over. I talked to the team extensively about I didn't care whether we had any takeaways. We didn't want to give the ball away. And if you look back through the season, that's in the nutshell. The turnovers are the thing that have set us back the most. So, And I think, finally, we were able to put together a sustained effort, offense, defense, and special team for four quarters, which uh, they were determined to do. And uh, you know, it was a pleasure to see us come out and play like that. And, and defensively, you know, we're a little shorthanded. And a credit to our defensive staff for the preparation and things you got to do, and certainly um, – you know, as an offensive group, and, and certainly, uh, you know, Drew having an outstanding day. An awful lot of people have asked me, you know, what have we been doing hiding them for the league? I mean, I've gotten all kind of crazy uh, emails, and, you know, I think as, as Drew will tell you, and, and Blake Zerfoss as well, when you're a freshman coming in and that playbook's thrown at you in that first meeting, I don't care who you are or where you came from, your head's on a spin and just trying to get all that, so they're not, they're getting next to no reps. But, you know, that learning curve is just difficult from the beginning. Now, uh, once he became a second quarterback, you could see that, uh, you know, he was ready to go and, and focused and, you know, and really adapted to the offense and, um, you know, threw the ball exceptionally well. I, get, I guess you could say I'm, I'm a bit of a fast learner. Um, we, we didn't have the full playbook in the summer, so it was just kind of the base plays. So uh, I tried to learn those the best I could, learn the reads, the progressions, and um, it, it took a while, but I, I think I'm getting there now. Mark Ross, I mean, there could be three guys on him. You just give him a chance. He's going to make a play for you. Um, you just look at his track record to see that, see the highlights he's made over the years. And he, he's just a great guy to have. He makes my job a lot easier. We practiced last evening and, and starting in preparation for Georgetown, uh, who we know have played very well against us. Uh, they're a very good football team, not much different than us, have had a lot of adversity in the injury category. But... Um, always plays very well against us. And I know uh, they, their group firmly believes, hey, this is a team that we've basically owned over three straight years, and uh, we haven't played well down there. So it's almost uh, the same you know, uh, type of game going in this week. Um, can't look at their record, can't look at anything. We know they're a good football team. They have probably the best defensive player in the conference, uh, and they're very well coached. All the seniors here have lost to Georgetown three straight years. So in the back of our minds, there may be a little bit of payback, but more or less, uh, we just want to be 3 0 in the league. So no matter who we're playing this week, we just want to be 3 0. So it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, you know, coach said last night at practice that, you know, no one on this team right now is beating them. So, I mean, yeah, you know, we do want to, you know, we do want to get them. They have been a thorn on our side. But, uh, you know, like Mark said, you know, they're just the next team on the schedule. And, you know, they're a Patriot League team. So we're just looking to go 3 0 in the league.